What up, Alpha and Omega fam? How y'all doing today? Y'all having a good day? It's pretty nice here in South Korea today. It's probably about 65, 70 degrees sunny. Fucking coronavirus. <laughs> so anyways, um, we got Shine Down 45. Now, I've heard this band's name before. But I can't remember if I've heard any of the music or not. I'm not going to lie. Because uh, back in the day, you know, I'm sure you can tell by my accent, I was a big country guy. You know, all I listened to was country music. So, you know, going through some of this rock stuff, even from back when I was younger, is like a, a whole new experience to me. Isn't that an acoustic song? I like it. Send away for a priceless gift. Okay. One not subtle, one not on the list. Send away for a perfect world. One not simply so absurd. In these times of doing what you're told, keep these feelings no one knows. Damn, something tells me it's gonna be a deep ass song. He's talking about send away for a precious, a priceless, my bad, priceless gift. One not subtle, one not on the list. I'm not sure exactly what that could mean. Um, could be love, you know, I don't know. Uh, send away for a perfect world, one not simply so absurd. I mean, you gotta admit, it's like this song was telling the future. Look at today's world, it's fucking insane. Uh, in these times of doing what you're told, keep these feelings no one knows. Hmm. So he's saying he don't want to let his feelings out. This is going to be a deep ass song, ain't it? Starting to pick up a little bit. Oh, the young man's heart. Oh. Damn, he said, whatever happened to the young man's heart, swallowed by pain as he slowly fell apart. God damn, this is going to be a deep ass song. Holy fuck. Is this about suicide? God damn. He said he's staring down the barrel of a 45. 45 back in the day, they used to call it the man stopper. Yeah, that thing would drop a, a grizzly bear. God damn. Yeah, man, this is deep. He said he's swimming through the ashes of another life. So I'm assuming him and his girl broke up and like he's trying to find his way through that pain. Uh, no real reason to accept the way things have changed. Yeah. I mean, he's he's talking about a lost love. And, you know, he says he's staring down the barrel of a 45. That's just fucking sad, man. Like, I can tell you, I've never been to the point in my life where I've wanted to take my own life, especially not for a woman. Now, I've been in love, and I've been hurt, but not like that, man. That's, that's sad, bro. I'm digging the music, though. It's got like a very like late 90s, early 2000s vibe is what I'm getting. Dude's got a good ass voice. You know what? And I might get yelled at in the comments for this, but he does remind me of like a, a late '90s, early 2000s, almost like a uh, like a Pearl Jam, Eddie Vedder type voice. 
but it's fucking great, man. I mean, this is amazing. Like, I'm, I'm feeling this. It's just sad. It's like sad, sad, man. There we go. So good. Look, that's a that's a bad place, man. And if uh, any y'all in your life been touched by suicide or you know somebody close to you, I, I've been there, and that's just a shitty feeling, man. That's that's a shitty place to be in. God damn, this song is fucking deep. Yeah, Pearl Jam, Chris Cornell, that's what it sounds like. I mean, I I know Eddie Vedder was Pearl Jam, okay? I said Chris Cornell because when he did that kind of high raspy shit, it reminded me of Chris Cornell. Sorry. She goes. Yeah, look at me on the floor. God damn. Yeah, that man's in pain. God damn. Yep, there she goes. Fuck me. Damn, that was a. Fuck, man. That song kind of hit me in the heart. You know, I had a good friend when I was growing up took his life over a woman and uh you know I, I still think about that shit to this day and I, I was probably 18 19 when this happened so yeah I still think about that from time to time that's crazy that was a great song though uh we might have to go down this rabbit hole ladies and gentlemen <laughs> so, uh I think I found another band I did another band, too, that uh, Veil of Maya, but, like, nobody watched that shit. I mean, was they a hated band or something? I mean, I thought the music was fucking great. So, anyways, I'm Joey, and I'm out. Peace.